Hello friends. Today in this module I am going to speak on a very important and interesting topic which is VDA 6.3. By end of the session you will get a fair idea about VDA 6.3, its importance and benefits. So let's get started. First we need to understand what is VDA. VDA is the Association of German Automobile Industries and VDA is an acronym for Verbinder Automobile Industry, it is a German word. VDA represent car makers including BMW, Volkswagen and Mercedes-Benz, parent Daimler but also counts foreign suppliers and foreign owned car makers like Opel among its members. The group is located in Berlin, Germany and in the year 1997 VDA set up Quality Management Center QMC for the benefits of German automotive OEMs and their suppliers and the work of QMC ranges from developing system and methods to shaping the future of QMS in the automotive industry. Over the course of time, VDA has released series of publications, some of which are mentioned over here. For example, VDA 2. It is equivalent to AIAG PPAP requirements. VDA 6.1 is equivalent to IATF 16949 requirements. These are the snapshots of the different VDA standards. Now let's understand VDA6 family of documents. In this block you can see different documents for carrying different types of audit, system audit, process audit, product audit. System audit objective is to verify the overall effectiveness of the management system. Process audit objective is to verify the effectiveness of the product realization process. Product audit objective is to verify the product conformance to defined specification throughout the manufacturing and dispatch process. As you can see the upper three block has three standards which talks about system audit. VDA 6.1 talks about QM system audit for serial production. VDA 6.2 talks about QM system audit for services. VDA 6.4 talks about QM system audit for production equipment. The middle block has two standards which talks about process audit. VDA 6.3 process audit for serial production and services. VDA 6.7 process audit for production equipment. And VDA 6.5 which is the lower block has one standard which talks about product audit. By now we know about VDA QMC and its various publications. Also we have seen VDA 6 family of documents. So now it's time to know more about VDA 6.3. This is the image of VDA 6.3 standard which is referred to as Red Book. The first edition was published in the year 2008 and revised in 2007. The third edition which is the current revision was published in the year 2016. VDA 6.3 process audit is an assessment method to conduct process checks within a QMS and assess their capability and performance. It helps us to evaluate and improve the controls in a manufacturing process. And the good part of the standard is that it can be used by any size and type of organization for either internal process audit or for evaluating potential or a existing supplier. VDA 6.3 is a customer specific requirement for Volkswagen and BMW. For example, for VW, we have a formal queue manual which talks about various quality requirements which are applicable to the suppliers in which at various sections it calls for application of VDA 6.3 requirements and across the supply base. Now what is the linkage between IATF 16949 and VDA 6.3? In the standard IATF 16949 2016 in clause 4.3.2 there is a requirement like customer specific requirement shall be evaluated and included in the scope of the organization quality management system and we know that VDA 6.3 is a customer specific requirement so it directly calls for implementing VDA 6.3 similarly in the VDA 6.3 we have a element P7 which calls for quality management system product and process requirement shall be fulfilled under the clause customer support and satisfaction so Quality management system is IATF 16949. So this is how both the standards IATF 16949 and VDA 6.3 are linked. What are the benefits for the organization? 
VDA 6.3 helps in identifying the weaknesses and strength within the audited process. Because once you audit a process through VDA 6.3 guidelines, you identify the weaknesses and strengths and then you can take the actions accordingly. It helps in identifying the potential risk. This is one of the strong points of VDA 6.3 that it asks for identifying potential risk associated with the process in addition to the points which are already there in the VDA checklist. This will help you to take on-time actions on the potential risk identified. The process audit will support the identification of waste and losses of a process to increase the efficiency of it. VDA 6.3 process audit will also help you to conduct the process audit as per CSR and IITF 16949 requirement in the most effective and efficient manner and helps you to increase the quality of your products. So with this, I have come to the end of this session. Hope you like it. See you soon with my next module on VDA 6.3. Cheers.